again with the race for governor. It was a close call for Bruce Rauner. He narrowly defeated Jeannie Ives to be the Republican nominee. He will be facing billionaire J.B. Pritzker, who won the Democratic primary race. Now, both candidates have a lot of money, so campaign spending ex is expected to be very high. Our Jessica D'Onofrio is live in St. Charles today with Governor Rauner. Jess. Well, Judy, the governor spoke to employees here, and then he took questions from the media, and he came out of the gate slinging mud at his Democratic opponent, J.B. Pritzker. Rauner, fresh off of his slim primary win against conservative opponent, State Rep Representative Jeannie Ives, launched his statewide campaign tour this morning at Carton Craft here. This is a packaging plant in St. Charles, where he spoke to workers about creating jobs. Now, he says for the Republican voters who rejected him in the primary, he plans to meet with them and talk to them about the issues that they do agree on to bring the party together, like lowering taxes instead of focusing on the issues that divide them. Meanwhile, he was laser focused on his Democratic challenger, J.B. Pritzker, saying he is corrupt at his core and controlled by House Speaker Mike Madigan. But he's going to lose. We're going to beat him because he is a machine politician who's corrupt. He's an insider. He's a tax dodger. He's part of the corruption in our state. And the people of Illinois don't want that. Good luck. This governor's race may get billed as the battle of the billionaires. Although Rauner's fortune, fortune may be shy of a billion, he wouldn't answer that question today. Rauner, who's a wealthy private investor, spent about $50 million on his bid for a second term. Pritzker, who's worth more than $3 billion, outspent him. Now, Rauner told the media today that money is important, but it's not going to determine the outcome of this election. He says he will be outspent by Pritzker and that he didn't inherit billions of dollars. Now, one thing is certain, Rauner is coming out swinging, and he plans to keep throwing punches all the way until November.